Hey guys! Today um, we're talking about History is Only Left Me by Adam Silvera. So this is a new release actually. It's a YA contemporary. Uh, it's Silvera's second novel and it's about teenagers and relationships essentially. Um, the main character in this novel is Griffin and he has lost his former boyfriend slash best friend uh, in a drowning accident and okay everything is just like complicated the relationships are complicated everyone is dealing with grief in this one everyone is devastated about Theo's death our main character is particularly devastated and he doesn't really know how to move on but this story is told in um, the perspective of like history and the today part so it like it like switches every chapter and at first uh, it seemed a bit confusing, uh, but when you get used to it, it's really fine. I think it's it's a good way to tell this story because you um, you get like pieces of history throughout the novel, so you get to learn what actually happened in the relationships and how they worked out. Yeah, that's basically uh, what this book is about. So my thoughts on this one, um, I think I just wasn't as big of a fan as everyone else seems to be. Uh, I haven't read anything else by Silvera yet. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to because I don't think his writing style is uh, for me particularly. Um, I like the story. It was honest and pretty sad, but I liked it. I still liked it and I liked how he told the story. I thought, I thought the writing was clever. The relationships, whilst sometimes uh, felt a bit like I don't know, romanticized, but I think just that just happens in contemporary novels. I think it was still like an honest take on teen relationships. Every review I've heard about this before I read it was like, this is going to like punch you in the feels, this is so sad and it will make you cry and I didn't cry. I don't know what it is about this book or the story, like I know it was sad. I know some parts were really like sad and brutally honest and stuff, but it just it just didn't get to me, and I think that was a real downer because like, I actually like crying in books. But yeah, I don't just I just don't think I was the audience for this book. I still really like Adam Silvera, and I think most people who enjoy why contemporary will really like this. It's safe to say I'd still recommend this one. And I gave History Solely Left Me three stars. I hope you liked this review. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye!